brand part out tomorrow, Tegla emphasizes uh, the, the impact that we have. So basically, it's we are building a brand for the future and future proofing for the brand. So we understand the effects of climate change and the effects uh, that are done by uh, deforestation. So all of that is embedded in all our policies, our sustainable, our sustainable procurement policies, uh, including incorporating our sustainable development goals, which is uh, number 12, 13, and 15 in the context of palm oil or forest communities as well. Okay, during the last video had a positive impact in terms of that now uh, we procure a sustainable source mass balance. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done because we, we are relatively in our infancy stage when it comes to incorporating uh, palm oil. Into, our, into the business. So there's still a lot of work and engagement that needs to be done with the, 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 the suppliers and just working together to just formalize and make sure that we protect the environment and we stop deforestation and we, we future proof our, our planet and make sure that everything that's, that we have, the resources that we have and our children and grandchildren are able to actually benefit from those. Well, first, Firstly, the challenges are actually is, is actually understanding the supply chain of power oil uh, as an individual and then now having to translate that into the business and then engage in, 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 in the suppliers. But uh, there's been quite a lot of support in terms of the suppliers that were already uh, mostly the, the distributors and, and manufacturers that have been in this chain for a long time. There's been a lot of learnings and there's still more to learn as well. So the important part is that the, the messaging that we get out there to the public and I think we need to leverage the, 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 the uniqueness of the relationship that we have with our kind of consumer base and yeah and also just working with other organizations like RSPO in terms of just amplifying the, the messaging and also we're working together. We believe as far that Sustainability is collective action, not an individual action. So if you want, if you really want to succeed and, and show better strides in fighting climate change and, and, and environmental degradation, it's actually working together and have one single uh, voice, and, and then we are able to actually educate our consumer. I mean, I'll be very happy if we come back to our own glory because we know <laughs> Africa is. Well, palm oil is indigenous to Africa, and 50 plus years ago, we were the major exporters of palm oil. But now, we are the major importers of palm oil. And, and, and for, for, for us to be importing palm oil, while we have the most optimum conditions to grow palm oil in, 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 in our own continent. So, in the next 20 years, I will be very thrilled and be happy that now Africa has become the net exporter of palm oil and African people are well informed in terms of uh, the certifications uh, of consuming uh, certified palm oil and, and all the process that takes place because it's not just certifying uh, but also it is improving the, the, the livelihood of, of, of small scale farmers.